well, good morning, y'all. It's that time again. It's a food stamp prep day. So, I got an increase in my food stamps. It's $2.81 now a month that I get. And uh, so, I'm going to go and see what, um, what I can pick up. I want to spend about $81 on food preps, you know, for future use. And then the other $200, um, if I come across any good deals, I'll do that as well. And, uh, and the rest of it will sustain me throughout the month. Now, I just did a video on the food bank uh, prepping. And I got a lot of good greens and things like that. So I'll pick up some things to go along with what they gave me at the food bank for my regular daily meals. And uh, I was doing some research on grocery stores around here. And there's really not too many. There's some Mercados that I would really like to go to uh, and stuff. But uh, sometimes they have what I'm looking for. Sometimes they don't. I haven't quite decided yet on the Mercado. Uh, the United, I shop there because I get discounts uh, on fuel. Okay. And so, you get so many points by shopping, you know how that goes, and then you foot, pull up to the little gas station there, and you can get anywhere from 10 to 20 cents off per gallon. So, anywhere you can save is a good thing right now. Um, I'm probably going to end up going to Walmart, because out of all the places that I've kind of reconned as far as their, their canned goods and stuff... Uh, Walmart is still the least expensive at about 58 cents per can for the Walmart brand. Now, it kills me to do that, but uh, because a lot of it has that bioengineered stuff in it, you know, bioengineered everything, but it is what it is, so you got to do what you got to do, and uh, if I'm hungry and uh, starving, I'm not going to care if it's bioengineered or not. I just need some sustenance. But anyhow, so get ready for the food stamp prep of October. Okay, see y'all in a little bit. Okay, here we go. This is the best brand to get on dried coffee. All right. Look at this. Look at this. It's the only can on the shelf. And then I went to pick it up. And no wonder it's the only cans on the shelf. Because it is damaged really bad. Alright. So when you're buying honey, you really want to see where it's coming from. And this one has a little spot on it. Hold on. Okay. This is the brand of the honey. It was the cheapest on the shelf. I don't care. I will not buy it. Period. Just won't do it. So I went ahead and went with the Walmart brand, which is a 100% product of the United States. And it's running about $10. I got two of these. That's like $22 for, for honey. So I couldn't find any chicken on the shelves that I could afford. So I got chicken of the sea. And it's not too bad, $7. These here, Mission... Um, tortillas those are those are really good it was uh, 75 cents off and everything so the uh, meat area this is all pork right here looking kind of thin and then here's our turkey and our and our chicken area looking kind of thin Let's see here. Uh, these were $32 and some change for some chicken breasts. Five pounds, so, you know. I don't know about all that. We've got our canned goods. So it's gone up to $0.78 cents each here. And on the beans, they've all gone up. All the canned beans have gone up to $0.78. Cents. That tells me something right there. I won't buy them like that. Even the uh, old ranch style and bush, they've gone up quite a bit too. It's getting a little bit ridiculous. You better get ready. The time's running out. Here's some more with an empty shelf. On the bottom there. Okay. 
So as the price of the peas, they're 58 cents a can, which is not too bad. I couldn't find any big cans of peas. And then, of course, I love carrots. So we got peas and carrots. We got, those were 74 cents a can. And I got two of those. Now, when you're shopping, you know, it's best to see, you know, what uh, prices are. So you'll divide four into 346 and you'll get the price per can. Sometimes it's cheaper just to buy individuals. Best made pickles. I love them. Made in Texas, darling. $3.40 for the bread and butters. But this is what I want to show you right here. You see this gap at the bottom? That's a good half inch gap of nothing but juice. Ripped you off. Rip you off. This was by far the best uh, buy of the day. Two real huge cans of green beans, $1.98. You know, seriously, uh, you can't beat that. There were three on the shelves, and I bought all three of them. I'm not playing. Okay, so here's some broth. It's about gone. Let's see, this is really good stuff. Five fifty. <laughs> Best hot sauce to me. Dollar twelve, still cheap. Let's see, this is pretty good stuff. Uh, it's two forty eight, not too bad. Now there's these nors, but if you look back over there in the corner, you'll see this little package right here of uh, bullion, and it was ninety eight cents. So I picked up three of those. Cheapest by far, cheapest by far. Gonna give it a try. Make beans taste good. And uh, I went ahead and bought some canned beans, and. Um, this, this brand is a really good brand. You know, if you look in the, the uh, international sections, you'll find some really good prices on stuff um, that, that's worth it. And it, it is good products because I eat them, and I'm not, I don't eat no nasty crap. Uh, here you go. Here we go. Empty shelves. These here are good beans. This, um, oh, what's the name of those beans? That casserole beans, those are the best. You get what you pay for. But I went ahead and bought some lentils today and some other little black beans. And like I said, the casseroles are the best. Look at this area right here. Hold on. Okay, this is a four-foot section in a super Walmart of beans. That's all the beans that they had. Okay, now here we go to the rice right beside it. This is the four-foot section of rice in a Walmart. That's all that they had, with the exception in the international aisles, okay? You can find little deals if you look for them, you know. Now, these here spices, I suggest these are really good spices, this brand. And um, they're fairly inexpensive, and, and they do last a while. And they got a very good uh, selection of um, all these types of spices, if you can find them in your store but uh i use them i've been using them for years because it was the cheapest brand besides the you know the dollar tree brand but when they were like 50 cents or two for a dollar those days are gone and the your bay leaves of course and uh you know they they've got these bigger containers which are which are good to have there's olive oil looking running dry. This milk is a really good shelf life milk if you can afford it. Uh, here's the meat section, bacon and stuff. Okay, what's going on with this? I have no idea. Are they reshelving it? Is there not enough bacon to fill it up? But it is totally empty. No bacon, no ham, none of that stuff. Okay, get your trail mix in. That's what I do. I use that for, to supplement my diet with. A little expensive, but it's a treat for me. Uh, and you can find some good ones. You know, the wonderful thing about riding in a, um, in a cart, which I call a go-kart, is that you can find a really good deals, and most of the good deals are on the bottom. Okay, check out these eggs. $20 for freaking eggs. Really? Come on. Here's some sour cream. I got that. It's gotten smaller. Here's your coffees. 
I don't buy these coffees anymore. I buy instant coffee now uh, because it's easier to transport and easier to, to deal with. But uh, Taster's Choice used to be the cheapest, not no more. Here's a Walmart brand, not gonna buy it. You're paying for the glass bottle. Your Mandarin oranges, I love these things. These are like my favorite. But uh, anyway, here's the grand total price. All right, the grand total price, and AI's watching me as I check out is 156.24. Okay, so this meat looks sickening to me. It don't even look appetizing. Here's all the turkeys that they had. I mean, chickens. I'm sorry. Chicken meat, chicken meat, no chicken meat. Clarence food. Get it while you can. Throw it in the freezer. Here's some more ham. Here's some ham. That's the only other ham I find in the store. Okay. So, this is what we got. We got our casserole, our chickpeas. Let's see, what else? Uh, my lentils, my long grain rice, five pounds. The bay leaves to put in there for whenever I go to dry them out. Uh, the bay leaves are really good uh, to put in your, your, your stuff when you're drying them out or you're putting them, storing them up. Anyway, these are the little bouillon cubes that I got for like 98 cents. I'm going to try them out. They're going to be for beans anyway. So, you know, it'll make the beans taste better. And let's see, I got the Star Kiss tuna right here. Uh, not too bad. Two cans of mandarin oranges, enchilada sauce. Yeah, I love mandarin oranges. I love them. Anyway, the, the refried beans is good brand. Here's my coffees. I went ahead and got four because there wasn't but six on the shelf. And here's my made in Texas, baby. Um, my pickles. Pickles, pickles, pickles. Hot sauce. I love this stuff. I did pick up that 550 thing of, uh, of buttermilk ranch because I have to treat myself. And um, I got the Sweet Baby Ray's garlic. That's really good. My two honeys and my trail mix for my omegas. You know, you, you got you to gotta keep that, keep it up. Keep that immune system boosted, brain boosted. The nacho sauce, I got that. I got the carrots and the peas. We go to go like peas and curds, Jenny. Anyway, this was the best deal of the day, these green beans. You, you can't beat that. You, you really can't beat that big old thing of green beans. And uh, let's see, I guess that's really just about it on all that. So stay blessed. Well, I got the shopping done. Um, I hope that y'all enjoyed this video and that you got some um, insights out of it and that it will help you with your prepping on a very small income, okay? Um, even with uh, food stamps, you've got to uh, beat them at their own game. And if you're frugal, and you spot certain things, sorry for the glare, de, 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 de. Um, you can you can make it work, okay? Um, golly, the glare's terrible. Oh, there's something in my eyes. But it, <laughs> it's my Halloween outfit. But anyway, y'all stay blessed and um, keep on prepping, okay? And just know that everything's going to be all right. You see my silver or my white? Yeah. That's where I have my migraines. But uh, anyhow, I enjoy y'all. And I enjoy the comments and, and, and interacting with you. And if I had it my way, you know, we could just all meet up. Because uh, I think y'all are some wonderful people. And I appreciate you. And uh, as long as I have a tent, you got a place to stay including myself. I mean, I'm just saying. Uh, I don't have much to offer right now other than wisdom, experience, strength, and hope. And I hope and I pray that you've got something out of this video. Thank you again. And y'all have a blessed day.